Now y'all want to play horse. I get into town, now you right, I come in town for a couple of days, and now you and De'Aaron feel the need to play <laughs> horse. <laughs> So that, like so that Kings fans <laughs> can finally get to know you, huh? Right, right. That's what happened. That's why you showing up at my door at 5, at 5 p.m. Okay, Iman. Let me come in at 5. Oh, you, you, oh where have you been, Iman? <laughs> what time is it? How are you, Iman? You okay? What's up, guys? We're here for another episode of Foxing Around. I'm here with my boy Iman Shumpert, and we're just going to play horse and talk about life. And this is presented by Cash App. We going to Fox. All right, we, we could definitely go to Fox for sure. We could play Iman if you want to. We're not playing Shumpert though. No, let's play scores. <laughs> let's play scores. We we'll get. We we'll play scores. All right, we we going one game of scores because that's too long. Scores is the same as horse. Scores yeah. is definitely six letters. That's fine. It's one letter plus horse. But you said it's the same. I didn't go to college. So we'll call it score. No, we gonna we gonna play we gonna play, we'll scores. play scores. scores. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so I heard. You used to go camping as a kid. See me? I'm not walking into the woods. Oh, you like never been camping. Never I've been been camping. camping. I thought you meant like I was like a camper. Oh, no. <laughs> like a campy. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Um, my brothers did Boy Scouting and stuff. So they, I, be, I believe they had a couple of little resort things that they did. But um, I really only legit camped like once or twice. See you know what me? I'm saying? It was cool and all. Oh, yeah. But I'm not like a, like I said, I'm not a can't be. We're about to start you know? the scores. <laughs> Speaking of scores. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you still don't have a letter yet. Put on the line. <laughs> score. Damn. That counts though, right? Yeah, that definitely counts. All right, that's an S. That's an S. How, did, how the hell did you come up with the scores? Did you ever use that before? No, or was no, you no. waiting? That's never been used. Uh, no, no, no. I don't, that's the one thing I don't do. Like, even with the Knicks tape, that didn't happen on some, like, I was sitting down like I should think of a nickname. It was like it was or it organically happened between us having a conversation. And it was one of the things where it was supposed to be like a, a inside joke. And it kind of kept going. So the scores and everybody just Yeah, the scores came kind of like when we was talking, you know, during training camp, I'm like, I will score you. Yeah. I will score you. I will score you. I will score you. And then I watched how everybody starts saying, saying it back. Now everybody like, yeah, I score you, Shump. Hey, nah. we, hey, but we came into the season averaging like 130 so points. So when we start too, scoring so. all these points, I'm like, yeah. We the Sacramento. Sacramento. Scores, back, scores back, board. is back in town. Damn. The scores is back in town. We're going to shoot this one from the titty. Glass right, me, you. please. Damn. All right, so you got drafted by the Knicks. Yep. How was it living? How was it living in New York as a rookie? And you were what, 20 or 21? 21. 21 already. Ooh. Unbelievable, man. I've had a, I've had a good life. I've had a good life. <laughs> uh, can't complain with uh, the cards I was dealt uh, as a pro. Same um, foot, one foot. Yeah. I, uh, you said same foot, same hand. Yeah. Fresh out the league. You went to school in Atlanta, so you was you know, already used to a big city. Yeah. But thing with New York, that's that's different. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, cool thing was, it made me save money, cause initially I wanted like all these raw whips, and you ain't even got nowhere to drive. Got nowhere to drive, nowhere to park. It's always a cab. It's a ton of Ubers. That's when Ubers first was starting to get popping. Yeah. Should have invested more money into them. Didn't, you know? You still cashed out. I still cashed out, but I ain't. You know, I ain't. <laughs> I didn't cash out, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I cashed out, I should have cashed out. Uh, but I just, I don't know, I, I think because I didn't have, because I didn't have those desires to buy all them cars no more, like I just saved my checks. Like, I didn't have a desire to live crazy no more because it was like, what, I'm gonna just run over potholes in my Lamborghini? Just messing, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pay to get my, Tie is redone every I definitely time. Definitely see what you're driving now. <laughs> Ooh! That's different. See, that, that's different. That, ain't, that wasn't man the question. Started, he started that parking in my parking spot. That ain't the question, all he that. He started parking was, in my parking spot. See, these not the questions that was easy. Talking to say. about, <laughs> I gotta wait till I'm not a rookie no more. 
<laughs> Which nah. is, in fact, your first game of your... That's another thing. Your first second game, season. First your game first game of your second season. That's the first regular season game. No, no, so no. going through but pre But that's after you have finished 82 games in your first that's year. That's not the rule. That's the rule. That's not the rule. Listen, all the greats did it. Hey, if you don't want to be one of the, if you don't want to be in the same pool as the greats, <laughs> then go play for the G League. But you here, you play for the A League. And you play for the scores. You don't even have on the Kings warm up today. So, if you want to play for the scores, you are, well, you're not a rookie no more because now you got 82 under your belt. You're a man now. All right, well, anyway. you a man. He parked in my parking spot till I wasn't a rookie no more. So I saw every car he had. Not every couple, car, but the cars he I got. Saying, I got a couple cars, but back then, all I had was a Jeep Wrangler. I used to drive over potholes, drive on curves, whatever. Good. Yeah, 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 whatever. I didn't really care. I got in a, a couple of people got in accidents with my car, but my car didn't have a scratch on it because <laughs> it was a gunmetal Jeep. But uh, yeah, I think that living in New York kind of taught me how to save my money, actually, because it was like, even the crew that I put around myself, my financial team, everybody, they was like showing me how to develop relationships with people to where I didn't have to pay for dinner half the time. Yeah, I was always was nice. Yeah, I was always smiling, hugging people at appearances, whatever. And people just sort of gave me that same energy back. So I saved a ton of money being drafted to New York, which is the opposite of what most people do when they get drafted to New York. They going crazy. Left foot, but then we have... So you played with JR oh. in New York. Ironically, I just shot a step back off one foot when you asked and me And that, that made that's me think crazy. about it. That's crazy. So you played with JR in New York. Wait, how I got You want me to go like this? Oh, or my yeah, you can do that like that. You can do that like that. Yeah, you know, lefty, I got to yeah, yeah, flip you know everything. I like that. But uh, how was it with JR in New York, playing with JR in New York, then being traded at the same time to Cleveland? With JR. Um, I actually. I mean, oh. Okay. Might have to shoot that in the game. Uh, I like, uh, I like, JR was one of my favorite players, like, especially like video game wise. I know you love video games. Oh yeah. Uh, JR is the perfect video game concept, <laughs> period. Like when you create a player, you create him to be like JR, hit no business shots from no business and angles. athletic as hell. Not get tired, athletic, <laughs> do anything you want him to do. Yeah, in the game, they may have him at a position or have him doing something that don't make him look the best, but on a video game, you know exactly how to make JR get 60. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so just period, I don't think JR kind of realized how much of a fan People, of him I was, uh, of I, how I was yeah. with him. But I, my rookie duty was to pick him up because his license wasn't cleared yet. So he had just got back from China and I was basically his driver. So I'm picking him up. Yeah, but he like, no, you hanging with me type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So he was so already he, 21, so it was. I was tw yeah, I yeah, was yeah. able to drink, do whatever. I didn't like to drink like that. You know what I'm saying? And really, pe even though people told me he was going to be doing like, they was like, yeah, JR, gonna, he going to take you out. Like, you're going to do all this like his strap. Like, I thought we was going to be doing all this like crazy stuff. But like throughout the day, like JR actually would be like, yeah, take me up to the mall. He buys his daughter a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, he go, he got to go over here to the dealership and he want to buy his mom a surprise car. Then he get his brother and them set up over here. They buy video game, do this, set this up, set that up. And I was so just he, like, damn, this dude is like a family. Yeah, but dude. I say so basically he just he showed like, you like how much of yeah, how, how much different like perception. everybody got, everybody got, you know, preconceived notions preconceived, about themselves. Yeah, preconceived notions about but people. But I think, I think, I think people... Like to hang out with Jr. for a day, you you'll be like, man, I love this dude. Like that's it, why he it's got. It's not to, what you think. Yeah, that's yeah. why he got to the NBA. He a great dude. Like I, I love this dude. Like and I had that for Jr. So it was like anytime the media like ripped him up or did something. You you you, you knew what it was. So I knew what it was. I'm him. like, yeah. I'm like, it's the tattoos. They're bother. Clearly, they bother y'all. Like the tattoos bother y'all. He got in a little hiccup or trouble, which anybody would have got in if they was 18 with millions of dollars. You know, I, I'm, I wasn't the best out yeah, of high school. He can't shut out. I'm about to say he can't shut if out. If I would have came too. out of high school, yeah. I'd have been done, doing way more messing up than Jr. I'll tell y'all that. <laughs> <laughs> way more messing up than Jr. But so it was, it was one of them things where it was like getting to, to to be with him and understand him. When I got moved to Cleveland, it definitely made it was a comfort for me to have him, him with, with you. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. So what's your what's your, what's a funny a quick funny story? A funny story about Jr. Jr. Yeah. I know you got a lot of them, but I just want one that's quick. A funny story about JR. Uh, Let me go ahead and match this, though. 
Yeah, go ahead and trick that off. Appreciate that S. That appreciate hey, that. Hey, what's S. that? Airball number three? Yeah, that's crazy. We'll just blame it on the Heli Hansen. We'll blame it on the Heli Hansen. I only oh. got an S though. I'm winning. We had a, a over under on uh, when uh, JR would take his shirt on, uh, take his shirt off for the uh, parade. For or... the parade, exactly. And we all, we, you know, we were all betting on whatever. But we thought by the parade, he would take it off. He got off the plane with it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see you. I think everybody's seen pictures of that. By the way, <laughs> people what, were saying whatever was going on with my clothes that was developing that short is gone. Whatever was making me shoot it short is gone. I'm just letting you know that while we do this. But go so, ahead. So the over on everybody was saying he'll take it off at the yeah, parade. Yeah, we like yeah. Maz was like, man, I say we give it. We turn the first corner, his his shirt gonna come off. Or this happened, it's gonna come off. This that man got off the plane. Let's get it. I said, oh, this man's crazy. <laughs> Man, it's great. Boy, it's ready. I ready. got him. Ooh! Oh, okay. I forgot you were scoring now. You Ooh! Scoring. So since we're talking about after winning the championship and JR having his shirt off, when did you take your shirt off? Uh, mine came off from, you know, of course, the heat. You know, it was, it was hot, hot that day. Yeah, it was hot. In order to give the fans what they wanted, you know, it was either sweat out that shirt I had and make the shirt look bad. Y'all talk about the sweat stains or take my shirt off and show the body that I work hard for. I mean, I know that you're a basketball player. <laughs> Sex symbol. You're a basketball player. By the way, that's with the left. All right. So that means your right better be ready. You're also an artist. Yes. You're not a rapper because you sing as well. No, no, no. You sing. <laughs> and you're, all, you're no, a no, model. No, 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 you're not going to keep going like that with the singing. <laughs> no, no, you're no. a model. I rap. I told you, until I take vocal lessons, I can't be considered a singer. Hey, man, I heard your music, man. <laughs> you be singing. You, That's you be, Marv singing. Marv was singing. You be singing music, Sacramento right? Scores. Oh, yeah. Scores. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying, but I still sing it from here. I you need to learn to sing from here. Oh. <laughs> so that's a C, yeah. SC. Sports Center, both SC, ways. SC, SC, we good. Sports Center, both ways. So with that being, let's, I was going to ask who's your top five artists of all time. Who are your top, top five? five? Yeah, who's your top five artists of all time? Top five artists. Your, your favorite, not saying the best, your favorite. Top five of mine. Kanye, I know the Trump situation, I understand. <laughs> Talking about music. Uh, <laughs> Kanye. Mike Jack. I can dig the mic. For sure. I love Kanye too. For sure. 808 Heartbreak is mine. Oh, That's man. That's me. Oh, that got me through college. That's me. <laughs> oh, we had a rough freshman year for some. It was a rough <laughs> freshman year for some. He got me through. Um, Kanye, Mike Jack. Just give me three. Jay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to yeah, it is. finger down to five. Probably like Eminem. And Method Man. I always thought Method Man was like, Method Man, one, he could rap, but I just felt like, I don't know, you know how you like look up to some, it, it sounds kind of weird to say, but he, he was like a good model for being an all around man. Like I felt like everything he did was like- It wasn't like, just about music. Yeah, it was super yeah. manhooded out. Like he was accountable for stuff yeah. like, if he messed up, he had no problem just vocal, vocally saying, hey, but that's my bad. You know what I mean? Like, it just was everything about him. You know what I'm saying? He had this swag going. He always gave you the deep voice, but then he gave you the funny stuff. He gave you the rap stuff. He gave you the cool stuff. And he never oversaturated the market. I love that about meth. Purple Talk. I'll catch this. So since you said Kanye, you know, top five favorite, I want to ask you how you got in the faded video so, I know we had your wife in there. We haven't got to, yeah. I haven't asked you about your wife yet. Okay. But how you get in that video? So, we're gonna go back Basically, right we was at the studio. Oh. We was at the studio in LA. And Ye came randomly and snatched my wife out of the session. Me and Judy was still in the room playing, having fun, listening to what she had just cut. And Ye talks to her for like an hour. She comes back and she got a puzzled look on her face. She says, Ye wants me to do his next video. But she was like, he didn't tell me who else was in it. He said, I'd be dancing to come up with a dance routine. 
So for the next week, we went on vacation and everything, the whole vacation, everything she's doing, she's prepping all these different dance moves, but none of them like made sense. She was like, he's gonna have to pick one of the routines. Yeah. Cause she was making up like eight counts and she makes all this stuff up. And then the that day of the video, wild. yeah, the day of the video, she's like, um, babe, he, he wants you to be in it. And I was like, well, what I'm doing? You know, I'm thinking I'm just going to be the dude, walk past in a beater. <laughs> just a little background, yeah, throw a little, little background baby dude. oil on me, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the it's man's it like, like a model. he wanted me to do, what, but he, he didn't use a lot of the stuff. I done did boxing stuff. Uh, I done, you know what I mean? She done did sit-ups on my way. She going down and up doing sit-ups, kissing at the top, you know, trying to make it look like we in love, but we in the gym together. Yeah. And, um, you know, still don't, I still understand none of this. Don't know why they created a gym <laughs> in a random location, why they just set up a shower over here. I don't know what any of this means. I'm I didn't just get how the, how the video had anything to do with Next thing I know, I'm butt naked on a bench, <laughs> digging balls on the bench, goats around me, doodling on my feet. I, all I could, I just kept telling him, I said, yay, I sweat, this better take her to the moon. <laughs> this video better do so much, so many glorious things for my wife, dog, and my daughter in this video. Like, it better do so many great things for her. And yay was just like, yo, just trust me, just trust me. <laughs> I know, I know, just trust me, just trust me. It's going to be dope. <laughs> and we sitting down watching the awards. Don't know he's premiering this video. We don't know what he's Oof. up to. Y'all was at home. At we at home, chilling. And you look on the screen and your love has faded. And I saw Tiana Taylor and I was like, oh, it's lit. And then I saw the part at the end, which I knew I did it, but it was just like, it, it, what's crazy is it took them convincing though. It took a good 45 minutes to, to an hour you to, to get me to go have you know, go do what I did in the shower with my wife for the world to be looking at. Like, it took a while. Like, this wasn't just like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Like, it wasn't like that. It was like, bro, I'm not finna do this with 20 people sitting over there. And it just took him, him, her, the director, Eli, who at the time was just doing a great job of like keeping every, the train on the tracks because he knew it was far-fetched. It was but, going, uh, yeah. Yeah, it happened that and shit, it did great for her career, so. That video was wild. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to Kanye Titter. Lay me up, coach. Oh.